Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to make a BMW rim in SOLIDWORKS. This is our old tutorial but we are going to make it again. We don't have any 2D file for this one so you have to take down uh, all the dimensions carefully and make it. I hope you like it. It is very interesting project. You will learn multiple number of tools here. So let's start to create this one. Now just go to file new. We will choose here part. Okay. Now we are in the SOLIDWORKS interface and here we are going to create a BMW ring. BMW rim. So let me choose white background and image quality. I will not go far close because file size will be become more and uh, PC will hang more. Okay. So we will start with outer body of rim. So let me choose here front plane center line draw vertical and horizontal construction line oh that's fine I start with here little taper come down little more taper do not keep any relation exit now let me choose these two lines equal relation now this two lines parallel and now here see tangent relation is created so just simply delete we don't need any tangent relation here select this two select this two parallel now it's time to add some dimensions Two hundred fifty millimeter, four millimeter. Let me exit and uh, select the upper point, both the upper point and horizontal relation. This is important relation. Now choose this two collinear. Okay. Now let's start. Twelve millimeter, twenty millimeter. 80 millimeter 12 millimeter now let me define angle 60 degree now let's come here angle 60 degree let me check this angle okay this is by default 30 that's fine okay now let me select top point and this center line and uh, this center distance 241.3 millimeter this is roughly calculated distance see our geometry is fully defined so just go to feature select revolve boss base now it is asking automatically close we don't want close choose no and axis of revolution choose this line now here we have one option thin feature because this is line so we need to define thickness 3 millimeter and make sure thickness going downward direction uh, that's it see thickness going downwards that's it okay uh, let me define some material steel brushed steel that's fine now let me choose here plane we want to create a plane at the mid of this body so here we will select both outer surfaces now see a plane going to create at the midpoint a uh, mid mid of body okay now that's it let me choose here fillet radius we will keep one millimeter and here choose full body or better to clear and choose your revolve thin full body we want to create radius at all the edges okay that's fine now it's time to add some more material here so let me choose front plane a sketch
now carefully choose this outer line this radius also don't forget and go to offset entities keep 3 mm reverse direction see we want to make a reverse a line here okay now this radius is too big so what we will do now let me select both the points and merge i it shows it can't merge but we will let them to merge now try merge that's fine and this one also let me choose here fillet keep radius 1 mm and select select both the end points okay now this point we need to expand dimension choose outer edge and keep distance 0.5 mm that's fine center line let me define one center line okay now let me start to create our main geometry exit let me choose here fillet uh sorry spline and keep one point here and the next point directly close exit again spline or exit and uh, let's try to reduce this one uh, is going inside that's fine is spline and connect these two points now you have to check the dimension very carefully because here too much dimensions first we will uh, modify the basic dimensions here A smart dimension Thirty six point two five millimeter, the uh, outer one seventy millimeter. That's it. Now this point seventy five millimeter. Okay. Now this overall length we need to define. Escape hundred and thirty two millimeter. That's it. now distance from origin point to this point this is important distance 95 point okay let distance from here to this point this is also important distance 140 mm see it makes drawing perfect now select this one horizontal now see it comes here this one also we need to little modify uh, let's define first this one this distance 212 oh that's fine 212 now this one 265 mm but we have to define angle angle with this plane what we created see we need to define this angle 18.5 degree uh, that's fine okay now select this one choose this line vertical distance 190 8 mm that's it
now let me choose here i think we defined all the edges only this one bottom this one is balance choose this one 47 length and we need to define angle with this plane see i hope you are clearly visible this is 13.7 degree even you can take it down see this plane mid plane we created now i think we took all the dimensions uh, okay the only balance this this point from this line this is the balance point 43.5 okay now once again i'll show you all the dimensions carefully see the distance just take the snapshot and enlarge your system okay just go to feature revolve boss base now here axis of revolution choose this center and here unmerge result because we want to create two type of body later we will delete it uh, cut it so this is very important make sure you unmerge result okay that's fine let me hide this now we need to create here holes front plane a sketch first row a center line then choose your line okay now it's time to define this line first distance 60 millimeter 6 millimeter and this and 12 millimeter okay now let me choose this one 84 millimeter 104 millimeter oh sorry 150 millimeter okay now distance this end to this end sorry origin point to this line 100 millimeter this is important distance Now what we will do just drag this opposite direction dimension and let me choose these two lines and make this this angle 45 degree oh see the drawing is fully defined so go to feature and choose your revolve cut and here choose this line we want to cut a hole a step hole okay this one no need to define any more things now see now let me choose here circular pattern and here I'll choose temporary axis this is temporary axis and this is the hole we want five number of hole equal spacing okay now that's it see the five holes are created now it's time to create some cutouts or rim shape cutouts 
so first we need to create a plane plane first plane we will choose plane number one see distance keep 180 millimeter toward forward side okay now choose this plane a sketch take the normal position now it's time to create our geometry here a center line I'll draw one vertical and horizontal center line and now let's define this 283.5 millimeter 287 millimeter that's it 22.5 degree now here we need to create our main shape so we will start with line exit let me define this line 18.2 millimeter we will choose here a spline and we will connect from this point to somewhere here exit horizontal now see it's going to be horizontal and uh, just little move this point so that you will it will be visible this arrow will be visible now first define this point 126.4 millimeter and this one 297 millimeter and let me define angle with this line now this angle we need to define 15.58 degree see now distance from here to this point 75 millimeter now see it is fully defined mirror choose this line and spline and mirror about this line okay that that's it now it start with line now let me choose this line and this construction line and make relation tangent okay let me define this distance 70.25 millimeter spline and we will connect from here to this point exit uh, the same thing I'll do it here I'll drag uh, what we will do we will choose this line this line hold shift key and this line parallel see both are parallel now it's time to define this length 42 millimeter and this one 320 millimeter that's it and let's define angle this angle 20.22 degree okay now the distance from this point to this line this is also a important distance 143 millimeter mirror let me choose these two lines mirror about this line okay now see we created a fully defined geometry see the hole is not going to touch I hope you note down uh, you took the snapshot and keep the dimensions proper if anything miss it will be create a problem while cutting extruded cut extruded cut we want to cut inside but we don't want to cut this rim outer body we want to cut this body that's why we make here two body see two bodies one outer and the this circular pattern other body now angle 2.5 degree draft inside keep inside don't outside and let me choose here body so I'll choose this one 
we want to cut this body only not this body that's why in last step we choose unmerged result okay now that's it a taper body is created fillet 4 mm and let me select these two inside and outer edges okay now circular pattern here we will select cut out and and for reference choose this center line we need eight number of patterns here uncheck geometry pattern so that it will adjust the things 360 equal spacing okay let me hide this one now see almost our body is created now let me add some fillet 4 mm this this one okay now choose one more time fillet and here we need to define edges uh, fillet so i'll choose one one edge then we will get one option here see just see which one is better for us no this 195 this age okay we will choose here 195 ages similar ages now it will take time so just keep patient now that's it let's choose uh this radius is too big we need only 4 mm now that's it this one is balanced so let's choose this all again select okay now that's it all edges are defined by radius now the only thing this logo portion balance so what we will do we will create one more let's hide this temporary axis permanent axis see here we have two bodies so you can combine it feature go to insert feature and here choose combine choose add and here select one body and two body okay now here no more options two body so this whole body become one body front plane is sketch normal okay section view that's look fine okay let me define this one exit let's define 18 mm and distance from origin point 42.5 mm this one keep 36.25 mm that's fine let's start from here to this point 
go back and make radius okay and go back and create one more radius or even uncheck this one now that's looks better spline and we will connect from this point to this point exit for spline choose this spline and this one tangent relation delete some relation so that tangent relation we need here okay this radius 4 mm and this one 2 mm and let me define from here the distance 3.7 mm okay this is perfect now choose tangent smart dimension and define this one 8 mm see drawings are fully defined look everything is fully defined go to feature choose revolve boss base and here choose this center line and you will see the preview i hope you note down the dimensions because i don't have 2d file so okay that's it fill it 1 mm and uh, let me select this five edges okay now it's time to add some logo here bmw logo so how we will add this one choose this one go to here edit appearance in edit appearance you will get one option here browse choose uh, before going browse just go go to advance then choose browse and uh, you will find the bmw logo on google just let me choose here all the files Uh, okay see bmw logo open now it will ask you to save a uh, appearance backup file so save anywhere where you want to save your file so i'll choose the desktop save now go to mapping in mapping you will see mapping projection now see this is going to be a project so you have to just enlarge select this one move enlarge now bmw logo we want to so just rotate oh that's fine okay now that's it how we made a bmw rim in solid works this is r6 rim something like this see i hope you like it don't forget to share like our videos and subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works and inventor thanks for watching